Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Rayyan Arab recording for the Prophet's Path. Did you know Eid is called Eid because it keeps coming back every year? SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, a great opportunity for us to worship Allah and celebrate at the same time. In Eid, we are allowed to eat. Eid, eat, you can go ahead and eat. This is a good opportunity for you to break your fast in Eid. Of course, you are not going to fast on the first day. Let me share with you some soon enough that how the Prophet ﷺ used to live during Eid. On the day of Eid, we are encouraged to do ghusl before we go out to the Salat al-Eid. So we do ghusl, we wash ourselves, we bathe ourselves really well. And this is what Abdullah ibn Umar used to do, a companion of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ. Being clean is mandatory upon every Muslim at all times, but especially during the times of Eid before Salat al-Eid and Salat al-Jum'ah as well. Muslims should also adorn themselves in the best clothes they have on Eid. The Prophet ﷺ used to wear the best he used to have on Eid, on the two Eids and every Friday. He had a cloak he would wear every Eid and every Friday. SubhanAllah, some Muslims come to Salat al-Eid wearing the worst clothes they have. This is not recommended, this is disliked. Make sure that you wear the best that you have because that is the Sunnah. Next, a person should eat before he goes out to Salat al-Eid. Yes, you should eat. The Prophet Sallallahu used to eat some dates before he used to go to the masjid and pray Salat al-Eid. So we want to make sure that we follow the Prophet Sallallahu path by eating some dates before we go out to eat. A scholar said that the Prophet Sallallahu used to do that because he wanted the people to know that you could break your fast before Salat al-Eid. Because many people wanted to continuously fast even in Eid. But this is completely forbidden and it is far away from the Sunnah and this isn't something Islamic that we should do fasting on the first day of Eid because the first day of Eid is a celebration. We are supposed to celebrate and break our fast and enjoy. Another Sunnah is that the person recites the takbir really loud in the masjid during Salat, before Salat al-Eid, before the Imam comes. We say, just like the Sahaba used to say and just like the Prophet ﷺ used to say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. And we don't have to do this in congregation. We do it separately. So if you see, if you hear somebody next to you saying it, and you say it with him just to meet his same tone and say it at the same exact time, this is not recommended. This is not what the Prophet used to do, but they used to do it separately. The best way to greet somebody in Eid is to say, Taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum. May Allah accept from us and from you. This is how the Prophet ﷺ and the companions used to greet one another. However, it is not reported that the Prophet ﷺ would initiate the greeting of Eid, nor did he recommend it. As stated by Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, he said that I do not initiate the uh, greeting of Eid, but if somebody initiates it with me, then I respond to him. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ never commanded us to initiate it. But if you do initiate it, it's no, no bid'ah, no innovation, you still get a reward. However, initiating it is just a sunnah, but it's not a recommended sunnah. The Eid prayer is considered obligatory. It is wajib, according to most of these scholars. They say that Eid prayer is obligatory for all, for the young, for the old, for those who have menstruation, for those who are ill, if they can, of course, and for everybody, whoever can, then they should go for Salat al-Eid. Even if they cannot pray, they just sit down. So if a woman has her menstruation, then she just sits down and she listens to the Salat al-Eid and she listens to the khutbah. However, the khutbah is not obligatory for us to attend. The Prophet ﷺ used to say after Salat al-Eid, I am going to give a sermon. Whoever wants to stay can stay and whoever wants to leave can leave. One of the greatest things you could do in Eid is give gifts. Buy a gift for your parents, buy a gift for your children, buy a gift for your relatives, friends, and just pass out gifts, pass out smiles, pass out laughter and joy. Why? Because we are Muslims and we have fasted for 30 days. Allah has trained us and given us a 30-day workshop for us to fill the struggling of those who are poor in the streets, who are unable to eat. And Alhamdulillah, we have passed and we have succeeded in this month, inshaAllah. So so what we should do is celebrate to the utmost according to the Prophet Sallallahu path. Jazakumullahu khayran. Until next time, inshaAllah. Wassalamu alaikum. بتخرجنا نلقاها